channel. Biggs here back with another Brief Origins where we give you the rundown of characters' beginnings. It's important to remember that some characters' origins change based on who's in the creative chair at the time. With that in mind, enjoy. Valkyrie is an Asgardian who is selected by Odin himself to lead a group of fierce warriors named the Valkyrians. Along with being the leader, she was also tasked to take the spirits of fallen warriors during battle and deliver them to the afterlife, which usually entails taking them to Valhalla for an honorable death. How she officially came into the pages. The mischief Asgardian enchantress was locked up behind the Dark Dimension prison bars and wanted to escape. So she used a mortal woman's body who was still alive by the name of Barbara Norris and combined it with her magic of another soul that possessed Asgardian physiology and would be able to help her out of this jam. That Asgardian soul was none other than Brunhilde aka Valkyrie herself. Valkyrie helps Enchantress escape and at some time with her new hybrid persona she decided to join the Defenders, a team that consisted of heroes like, I don't know, Doctor Strange, Namor, and even the Incredible Hulk. Now just to pause for a moment cause I'm gonna need a minute to help process her background to you the listener slash viewer cause it is quite a pretzel. Barbara Norris is a good place to start. Um, she gets spelled cast into sharing a body with Valkyrie and the story at first appears Valkyrie is the one inhabiting Barbara. Where things become Six Flags theme park is Valkyrie at some point sees her own death tries to avoid it and at some time during a war she saw her actual physical body contained in a clear coffin so her soul is in Barbara but it's not her true form. Valkyrie touches her lifeless body and that somehow has them switch roles as her lifeless body becomes life with Barbara taking the wheel as Valkyrie. Barbara's body would now become the lifeless one and it turns out Barbara wanted to be the bad girl in this form. Why it gets roly coasty is that there was a prophecy Valkyrie saw where she would die on the battlefield which turns out she technically did but only Valkyrie wasn't in Barbara's body but rather Barbara was in Valkyrie's body meaning Barbara was the one who technically died as she was the soul in another. That make any sense? So Valkyrie's soul had to live in Barbara's form while Barbara's soul had to go which eventually Valkyrie would die during battle, leaving her soul trapped in between worlds as she can't recall who she really is and therefore can't find peace. Why did she get confused? Let me break it down. Barbara was trapped in Valkyrie's body and she was serving up a sentence for her crimes in the underworld. So her actual spirit didn't understand how she could be dead and she couldn't separate the two personas, not allowing her to accept that she has passed on officially. To shorten the ride, Enchantress traps Valkyrie's soul in a sword called Dragonfang for leverage against her team, which Enchantress possessed Valkyrie's body long ago as they met at a tavern, had a disagreement where it led Valkyrie to a trap which Enchantress siphoned her powers and left her body in a comatose state. Fast forward, she's about to end Valkyrie's physical body until the Defenders and the Embodiment of Love prevents that, and Valkyrie's soul goes back into her original body, while for punishment, Enchantress gets trapped into something herself. There. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Praying it was easy to grasp. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoy our content, you know what you guys can do. You can share, you can like, or you can subscribe to our channel. When you guys subscribe to our channel, you know what you do. You guys are building our empire and allowing us to provide you guys with even much more greater content for you guys to enjoy.